All right, we are gonna take a full look at this highway drive assist common on Hyundai and Kia vehicles. For this one, we're in the 2022 Hyundai Tucson. Be sure to check out the full review, but this is on other things like Santa Fe, Palisade, Telluride, all the ones that you love. So we're gonna see how much hands-on and hands-off driving you can do. Get on the interstate in a little bit, take some corners, but first, all you gotta do, push the cruise control button, and then we're good to go. The lane centering button is the little steering wheel icon between the lanes. And then I'm gonna, and then I'm gonna get us up to speed here. And it just changed the speed for us. So the highway drive assist, you can have it optional to automatically change the speed to match the speed limit signs. Now, I'm just gonna go hands-free as long as it lets me. And I'll tell you, when it beeps at me to tell me to hold on to the wheel and when it actually stops driving. So let's see how we do around the corner. Yikes, it's telling me to keep my hands on the wheel and I don't wanna to get too close there, so I grab the wheel. And full disclosure and disclaimer, keep your hands on the wheel and your eyes on the road. I'm doing this for demonstration purposes only to show you the possibilities and capabilities of this system and other than that turn back there where I grab the wheel it is just completely on its own and it's keeping us at the speed limit once there's cars in front of us you'll be able to see how this smart cruise control distance pacing works and probably more so on the interstate when we get up there but this is all this Hyundai now when you come to a situation like this, it just does not know what to do. So when you come upon an intersection or even on the interstate when there's like an exit, you need to be hanging on to the wheel and you need to be paying attention because it might just follow one of those lanes and it'll just freak out because it won't know what it's doing. But if you wanna see more details on all the available safety features, I've got a demo on the Telluride. Find that in the description below. And if more details on this Tucson, be sure to find that video in the description below as well. We're gonna continue with some more highway driving here, hopefully get behind some people and then get on the interstate and see how it does. Another thing is that it will not stop at stoplights for you. It will not accelerate for you when it turns green either. It's not that kind of a system. You've always gotta be paying attention. So I'm gonna just resume. You just press down on the cruise control button there the one right below it and it's going to match the speed limit and if it sees the speed limit sign it will increase the speed or decrease the speed you can turn that off or on in the main display but solid lines or dotted lines it will follow the lines if the lines are not in good shape and not visible or if it's heavy rain or snow chances are it probably won't notice the lines and it's not going to keep you in your lane it's usually just ideal situations like this we're just cruising right along this is straight obviously now just for a sec I'm gonna take the uh, highway drive assist off or the lane centering I'm gonna veer over and it'll bring me back and it says keep your hands on the wheel I'm gonna veer over here and it'll knock me back and tell me to keep my hands on the wheel so that's just an example of how that works I'm gonna stay in my lane so they don't think I'm drunk the people behind me And then we've got a pretty good sized turn right here. And it's locked in, let's see how it does. Look at that, all by itself. It's all by itself. I have the speed set to 51. There's a 50 mile per hour speed limit sign. And I don't know why it didn't lower us. It's showing a down arrow, probably because I just changed the speed, but it will automatically change speeds for you depending on the speed limit sign but how impressed are you so far with this system obviously a lot of you are probably gonna not use this and you don't have to use this I personally don't trust these systems enough to use them let alone rely on them they're just safety features to help keep you in your lane if you happen to not be paying attention but we got another big turn here we'll see how it does this is this is pretty pretty intense oh my gosh oh that's too much <laughs> it it did quite a bit on its own I helped it for a sec and then I let it go but 
that that's too much all right let's get on the interstate here in a second and another thing okay i haven't had this opportunity to show you guys yet but if you are behind somebody and stop and go traffic for example on the interstate they come to a stop and then they start going again and then they come to a stop and they start going again it's gonna keep you going it's gonna stop and then start from a stop and then stop and then start from a stop so it can do that low speed down to zero speed stop and go type of traffic and it's actually pretty smooth all right we are about to get on the interstate here we don't have stop and go traffic to show you that but uh, we'll see how it does with the traffic that we have I'm gonna have it automatically start at the closest interval distance between me and the person in front of me as possible and now it says it's in auto mode so highway drive assist is officially on the interstate where it will automatically change speed limits for us we haven't had a speed limit sign i'm in texas i don't think they exist down here <laughs> but uh it's 70 miles an hour so i just changed it to 70. it's an auto and obviously people are passing me so i'm gonna have to speed this baby up so i have sped up i'm gonna see if i can get to the closest distance possible to the person in front of me but it's still doing the lane keeping system right here and you can watch all this on the display in front of you too so i'm the one distance marker one away from that vehicle i'm going to make it distance marker two you push the button on the steering wheel and it should space me out a little bit and then if i do distance marker three it should give us even a little bit more space and you can see it's creating a little bit more distance it's slowing me down automatically i haven't touched the accelerator or the brake since i got behind them and then if i do distance marker four we're going to be even a little bit further behind it's not a huge distance i wish it could honestly leave a little bit more but you have four different distance options and it's still going to do all the lane centering and all that stuff if you want to now i'm going to get over and I'm going to move it to your uh, marker distance number one and it's going to automatically speed up on its own because I'm going on my speed my cruise control is faster than what that vehicle was so now I get over here and it'll be pretty swift to start speeding up you can still hit the accelerator to try to speed up some but we're distance marker one pace away from this car in front of me and it's doing a good job it's going to follow this corner or this turn all on its own again braking and accelerating as needed and when this has to brake to keep a distance the brake lights do come on so people behind you know you're braking even though I'm not actually pushing on the brake button or the brake pedal sorry I'm trying to concentrate here we'll see how it does around here good it says keep hands on the wheel and it'll beep keep hands on the wheel for a long time and still do it on its own so it, it's not just gonna completely poop out and stop doing anything right away it's gonna warn you for a long time to put your hands on the wheel and again it's still braking and accelerating for me mostly accelerating to just keep this distance so it's definitely doing a nice job now here's the thing I just braked myself if I left the cruise control on and I cut in right behind this car in front of that semi, it's going to automatically slow me down to keep a distance in front of that car. So it would really slow me down in front of that semi. So that's when you really got to be careful with this uh, cruise control stuff. So I have it set back to 79. There's a 65 mile per hour speed limit sign. And if I had left this on the speed limit, it would automatically knock me back down. But since I manually overrided it, it kept me at a faster speed so if you let it change speeds for you it will but you can override it too and then it will kind of ignore it and just give you feedback but it's pretty much doing everything on its own especially when you're in situations where there's not a lot of traffic or there is a lot of traffic this can do stop and go stuff for you it can be a stress reliever in some situations like watch this it's really slowing me down to keep pace or keep distance with this car because they're going a lot slower than me 
now they're getting out of the way and it sped me back up so there you go what do you guys think of this system i hope you got an idea of how this smart cruise control lane centering highway drive assist works on all these hyundai and kia vehicles be sure to check out my full review if you want to see all the details on this and all the other hyundai and kia vehicles that i have as well i missed my exit so i'm gonna have to keep going on this interstate several more miles so i'll catch you guys later hope you have a great day